Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back with an opening of two more boxes of premium gold, infinite gold for you guys. Um, I also have two more of these sealed boxes here. Uh, that's going to be part of the contest. I have decided on some of the stuff, so official announcement video on that will be released on April 1st, which is this Friday. I'll pretty much be giving away uh, one grand prize is this sealed box here and then the second one I'll probably crack open and do some giveaways and then like some second and you know other runner-up prizes so we're gonna go ahead and just open these let me just get the wrapping off of each of the individuals and then we'll go through the packs so I guess I'll do this real fast in case um, your stores don't do it I mean this is what the display will look like but I'm just gonna go through and open all these boxes real quick all right so here are our 10 mini boxes liberated from here. We're just gonna go ahead and open these up now. So this is a box, this is a box, and I'll put them kind of to the side so that we have enough room, and we can go ahead and stack them all up. Let me just move this bin over here. All right, so now we're ready to start cracking these things open for you guys. So first off, we have Ignister, Time Space, Chimera Tech, Ang Marl and Max C, so very cool. I'm just gonna separate them by type of card. So we'll do um, Fusion Synchro Xyz, Monster Spell Trap, and then I'll put like the um, pendulums over here. I don't think you can see the fusions right now, but we'll do a quick recap at the end so you'll get all that information. Actually, let's just move this here and we'll put pendulums there. That works. So now we have Gaga the Cowboy, which actually looks pretty cool in the gold because uh, I think the foil complements that background orange really well. We have Black Horn of Heaven, Remove Rainwashing, Hope Harbinger, which is a pretty good new secret, and then Graph. So I'm not separating by rarity right now, just because I feel like it's a lot easier to go through by categories. And then, I mean, it, this is more useful for seeing exactly what it is that we pulled and what we haven't yet. But um, things I'm still looking for, I'm still looking for an emerald. I haven't pulled an emerald in like, <laughs> I want to say like five boxes so far. I've been opening stuff off camera. Straw Man, Mass Change, Phantom Knights, and uh, Farfa. So, Mass Change first spell. Aruberos is a very good unexpected reprint uh, as well. I didn't expect it. Um, and I didn't expect to pull two in a row as well, but it's a really cool card, so I don't mind. We have Aruberos, Horn of Heaven, Emergency Teleport, good gold, um, Bish Balkan, and Liebig. So Synchro, I'm just worried this thing's gonna get hit. I mean, it did in the OCG, and I mean, they don't even have Cosmos, so I think it's safe to say Teleport's gonna get hit here, um, which makes me very, very sad as a Psychic Duelist. <laughs> what are you gonna do? We have Flare Metal Dragon, Cosmo Good Witch, Brainwashing, um, Dante is good, and Frost Blast. So, pretty good box so far. We got like a Max C, we got a Dante, we got a Teleport. So Teleport's not expensive, it's still a really cool reprint. Black Rose, Treacherous, Mistaken Arrest, Red Supremacy, and Seer. So not quite as good of a pack. Um, Treacherous isn't, you know, holding value or anything. Black Rose looks really cool, though, as a gold, I will say. Um, Japan had it as a gold, like Gold Series 5, I want to say, something like that, uh, just like a couple years ago. So I, I was always wanting a gold ghost, or gold Black Rose. So it's kind of cool to have it, finally. We have Ignister Prominence, Cosmo. Wicked Witch. I think this is only like the second one I've seen so far. They're kind of hard to pull. Galaxy Cyclone, which is a very good gold rare. Um, Phantom Knights, Dark Gauntlets, and Liebig. So, pretty good pack right there. We got a Cyclone. Here is a Pleiades. Another card I thought would potentially hold some value. I mean, it's like a dollar, but we have Pleiades. Beatrice, there. Now, that's an awesome card. So, we're just going to bring that a little closer so you guys can see, in case you haven't seen this card yet. It's really beautiful in gold. Uh, we have Mass Change second, which is cool, Dark Advance, and Alec. I think I needed that second Mass Change second, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's the first one I pulled here, but between this and the other stuff I've opened, should be the second one. We have Volcasaurus, Firehand, Remove Brainwashing, King's Consonants, and the Terminus of the Burning Abyss. It's cool that they reprinted the Fire and Ice Hands, because the uh, Dragons of Legend stuff really did need some reprints. We got Mathematician last year, so it only makes sense that we'd get Fire Hand and Ice Hand. Um, Magister Paladin, Cosmo Forerunner, Mistake, 
Junk Karibo and Rubik. Stacks are getting a little messy, but oh well. Maybe I should start opening, you know, from like the actual correct side. It's just that the way I put things sideways like this, the text is just it's just like that. Lightning Chidori, Cosmo Slip Rider, Shared Ride, the Ravenous Tarantula, and Calcab of the Burning Abyss. Still wanting that emerald. This is a pretty cool card. Drake Overlord. Or Vecta Pendulum, the Drake Overlord, yeah. Um, we have Grand Horn of Heaven, Monarch Stormforth, Frost Blast, and Barbar. So, very good indeed. I guess we'll have another section just for the Archfiend Eccentric because it is its own pendulum, because it's an effect pendulum. We have Arcanite Magician, Void Trap Hole, Dark Mirror Force, Bish Falcon, and another Max C. Awesome. So yeah, for those of you who haven't been with my channel the whole time, I actually started two years ago. This is the beginning of the third year uh, with Premium Gold 1, so it's a meaningful opening to me. We have Magister Pendulums, Time Space, Mistake, Ravenous Tarantula, and Graph. Not the best pack, to be completely honest, but and I'll take it. Um, but yeah, this is just a really fun set for me to open, so... I'm just hoping in a lot, and <laughs> we're going to do a contest with it as well. It's not just going to be premium gold stuff I have for trade and sale, though. We have Red Eyes Flare Metal, Cosmo Dog Fighter, Nether Teleport, awesome, Frost Blast, and Draghig. So if we look just quickly over this box, it looks like, I mean, Black Rose is cool. Um, this, these are nice reprints, albeit not, like, the most powerful ones, I guess. Um, I mean, this is pretty good, but, like, Chimera Tech isn't something that people like needed once uh, just the reprint was announced. Um, I don't know, it was just, it was a supply problem. Supply is there now, so it's not really holding its value. But these are some really cool pulls right here. So I really do like the Xyz. Um, then we have the effect monsters. I mean, I liked how we got two max Xyz in here. We got a bunch of the Burning Abyss, of course. We got no dog fight or no dark destroyers. But we did get some like dog fighters and random stuff. Got a pair of teleports, which is pretty cool. Um, I needed that storm forth and the mass change. Cyclone's always cool to see as well. So very cool. And it's also nice to see things like mass change. And I guess with the second, uh, you know, cards that hadn't been printed in foil, finally got a foil print. And then the traps, I mean, I don't know, other than just some like foil bumps and like Things like mistake getting mass printings. Uh, I don't know. The traps are okay. I'll say they're okay. There's there's some good ones in here, but uh, they're not like the best things in the world. Now for our second box of stuff. So remember that's just one box worth. So we still have room to pull. Still wanting that emerald. We have Bahamut Shark, Cosmo Light Sword, Mass Change, pretty cool. Dark Advance and Liebik. So trap spell spell and exceeds. Big Eye is always a welcome Xyz monster. I remember this thing was so hard to get, even in the reprint of the um, War of the Giants battle pack. Black Horn of Heaven, Chimera Tech's still cool, Sukumo Slash. There's a fun thing you can do with Injection Fairly in this card, I think. My brother came up with it. Um, we think it works because of both of them working in the damage calculation, but I'm going to try making a deck with that and see if that is a legal thing to do. If it is, it'll be pretty funny, because it'll be just um, a revamped version of Rat Toolbox, but with an OTK push. We have Vector Pendulum, which is pretty cool, Straw Man, Mistaken Arrest, Red Supremacy, and the Terminus of the Burning Abyss. And there is our third Vector Pendulum. Very cool. Forerunner. Uh, mass Change. Uh, number 37, Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. This thing's pretty cool with Norden. And then uh, Dante, Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. Looks like we have a Lightning Chidori. And this pack opened up kind of weird. I've never seen a pack open like that. But Lightning Chidori, Cosmotown, the Monarch Stormforth, Red Supremacy, and Farfa. Still not as cool as that blank name Farfa, but, eh, you know, it is what it is. We have Magister Paladin. Did I keep saying Pendulum? I, might, I think I might have. Cosmo, Wicked Witch, 
Mass Change Second, Dark Advance, and Liebig. And I think for those of you thinking like, oh, it's Mass Change 2, well, okay, it might be, but I say second. I think that's what it was in the OCG, or like, that was what it was fan translated to originally. That's just what's stuck in my head. Um, we have a Mr. Prominence, Horn of Heaven, Breakthrough Skill, first one of those today. Uh, Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets, and Skarm. So lots of traps in that pack. And our first Synchro Monster. Ooh, I forgot that this was one of the cards in here because the last couple boxes I got had none. So Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, Ice Hand, Remove Brainwashing, another Sukumo Slash, and a Kagana. Here we have Bahamut Shark, Void Trap Hole, Galaxy Cyclone, very nice. Magical King Moonstar, my brother needed this for his like Beal stuff. And then we have Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss as well. Big Eye is always a welcome start of a pack. Treacherous Trap Hole, Draco Face Off, Pain Gainer, and Alec. Arcanite Magician, still hoping for a um, Daegus Emerald. Grand Horn of Heaven, Reasoning, 77, the Seven Sins, and Virgil. We're down to like four of these packs now, so hoping. Gaga Cowboy, Dog Fighter, Teleport, that's nice, Charge Warrior, and Seer. So the reason, part of the reason I got a lot of the set is obviously the nostalgia, but then another part of me was like, I mean, you can make so many deck cores with this. I mean, you can just make Cosmos and Burning Abyss of the Wazoo with all these. So Arcanite Magician, Firehand, Fairy Wind is a good trap, King's Consonants, and another Max C. Awesome pack right there. A lot of stuff that I'd actually use. Volcasaurus. Dark Destroyer, nice. Breakthrough Skill, Magical King, Moonstar, and Graph. So, very good pack right there. And our last pack of the day. Let's see if we can pull something really cool. So we have here, ugh, if I can get it out, an Abyss Dweller, a Beatrice, which is fantastic, Mistake, Junk Changer, and Drag, which is a very good, uh, good end to this, considering, I mean, that's a really cool card, that's a competitively useful card, and this is another competitively useful card. So, quick recap of just this box. It looks like um, we got some Arcanite Magicians in this one. We got another Chimera Tech, which is pretty cool. Completed a set of this, got one of these. It's limited anyway. We got another Beatrice, which is really nice, but still, I haven't seen a single Digusto Emerald in, like, now seven boxes of this stuff. My friend, the Silver Shadow, ended up pulling one out of his two boxes, but I think ratios are just random here. We have a Dark Destroyer, we have a Max C, we have um, some Fire and Ice Hands here and there, but um, decent here considering we have the Dark Destroyer and the Beatrice. I'm also noticing uh, Ghost Ogre, I only pulled two in my first three boxes, and then that was it. I've never seen any more, so I guess that's kind of hard to pull. Um, but I feel like for the most part, a lot of these ratios are just totally random, so I can't make the statement in general. I mean, just cool cards here. I think the main thing is Galaxy Cyclone, Teleport's pretty cool. Some of the mass change stuff for heroes. And then we have like a mistake, a breakthrough skill. Finally started getting breakthrough skills, so there's another breakthrough skill. And so yeah, there's that. And then I'll be back with a quick recap of everything together. All right, so for our two-box recap here, starting with the extra deck, we have one Dante, Pilgrim, one Chimera Tech Fortress, or no, two Chimera Tech Fortress. Uh, we have one of the Stardust Charge Warrior, one Virgil, one Black Rose, two Bish Balkan, three Arcanite Magician, and three Ignister Prominence, one Dweller, one Traveler, 177, 184, a 37, a Pleiades, and one number 38, which is kind of... I guess what I've been seeing is like one of these per every two boxes or so. They're kind of hard to pull, but they're going to be pretty good once like the blue eye stuff comes out. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. Number 11, big eye, we got two of those, two Aruboros, two Volcasaurus, two of the 35, two of the Flare Metal Dragon. Uh, only two Chidori, which is kind of weak <laughs> compared to what I've seen. I mean, like, I don't want to pull tons of this, but like the other pairs of boxes I've opened, I've had like four to five of these things. So kind of weird. Like the ratios really are random with this. 
two cowboys, two sharks, two Beatrice, which is phenomenal, um, two Magister Paladin, or no, three of them, playset uh, to round out the end of that. Then the monsters for the main deck, we have a full playset of the Drake Overlord. We have one of the Luster Pendulum, one Junk Karibo, which I'm so glad to see, and only one Junk Changer. Um, these aren't the best, so realistically, you know, pulling as few of those as possible is great. One Angmarl, this thing is just fun. I kind of wish um, Teleport would be safer list, because um, it's kind of fun to use in Psychics with Teleport, but, uh, you know... I'm not going to have my fun with that, unfortunately. We have Ice Hand, two Fire Hand, two Magical King Moonstar, three Max C, uh, one Dark Destroyer. So this is the Cosmo stuff here. One Good Witch, one Slip Rider, two Forerunner, two Cosmol, one, or two Straw Man, two Dog Fighter. Then for the Burning Abyss, we have one Rubik, one Calcab, one Barber, one Cagna, one Skarm, which is pretty low, um, a pair of Seer, a pair of Drahig, or Draghig, a pair of Farfa, three Graf, um, three Alec, and four Liebig. Then for the spells, we have one Reasoning, one Cosmotown, one Draco Faceoff, and one Cosmo Light Sword, one Shared Ride, double Terminus, double Sukumo Slash, double Mistaken Arrest, two Monarch Stormforth, two Galaxy Cyclones, which is pretty cool, two Mass Change 2, uh, three Mass Change Normals, uh, three Frost Blast, and finally, three teleports, which is very cool. I think I only pulled one in my first pair of boxes that you saw on this channel, which is, you know, it's just really random, like, what you get in these sets. But I think that also makes it kind of fun to pick up more of these, because you never know what you're going to get, but the set itself is decent. We have one mistake. I think I pulled a place in the last pair of boxes I got, which is kind of weird. So, like, you know, it is what it is. One Fire Lake, one Fairy Wind, t uh, one Phantom Knights of Tomb Shield, one Dark Mirror Force, two King's Consonants, two Treacherous, two Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets. Oh, well, they're my other mistakes, so that was a mistake again. Uh, three mistakes here. Two Breakthrough Skill, uh, double Time Space Trapple, double Void Trapple, two of each of the Horns of the regular Grand and Black Horn of Heavens. We have three Dark Advance, three Red Supremacy, and four Remove Brainwashing. So all this stuff, all the stuff I opened last time, and a bunch of stuff that I have opened off-camera will be in a binder update that should be released this Friday along with that contest announcement. More details on that will, of course, be in that video, but pretty much... If you've been around before, it's going to be the same kind of contest for those of you who haven't been there before. Um, what pretty much happens is if you buy anything from my channel or through my eBay page and you contact me about that, you'll get points um, towards your username that I'll keep track of in a spreadsheet. And then at the end of the month, the top... X number of people will get their choice in prizes. We'll have one big grand prize, which will be that sealed uh, premium gold, infinite gold box, and then probably some of the like mini boxes in there. I also like doing giveaways. What I usually do is I'll give away battle packs each week just to a random subscriber who has commented on the contest video. I'll still be doing that, but I'll probably be doing an additional premium gold, infinite gold pack each week. So it'll be two packs given away each week instead, just to add to the festivities. So again, details on all that will be coming Friday, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up so you at least know what to think about. And it'll pretty much last for the entire month of April. So thanks guys. This is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what your favorite thing in the set is and whether or not I pulled it. There are definitely things I haven't gotten, like I still have yet to see a Digusto Emerald. I saw no Archfiend Eccentrics or Ghost Ogres in these boxes. I mean, you know, ratios are really up there. I mean, I guess my ratios are a little different what I have in mind because I've opened a total of nine boxes with five of them on camera. So it's like, you know, I don't know. It's just a bit odd. So I don't know. I think it's a cool set. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And let me know if you thought so. This is JD Gaming. I'll see you guys next time.